Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy, and today I'm going to be talking about the Arkansas Razorbacks 2020 football schedule. The Razorbacks lately have not been a great football team. This has been going on for the past few years. They've been cycling through different coaches. Nothing has seemed to work. They're constantly the worst team in the SEC every year. They can't seem to find an SEC win. They're just a very bad football team usually. Some big changes came this past season. Obviously, Chad Morris was fired after he got destroyed by Western Kentucky on his own, own turf. Uh, replacing him is Sam Pittman. I believe he previously was the offensive line coach at Georgia, so that's definitely an improvement. At quarterback, you're getting Felipe Franks from Florida, so I think the Hogs are at least going to improve a little bit. They have a top 30 recruiting class, so you know you look at their you look at their roster overall. It's not great, but it's definitely better than it was last year. So I decided that I would break down their schedule one through 13. But as you can see. It's a brutal schedule. It is a, it's an absolutely brutal schedule. All right, right off the bat, 50-50 game. It's Pittman's first game. I think this is going to be a tough one. Nevada's an average Mountain West team, but an average Mountain West team is a very hard competition uh, for the Arkansas Razorbacks, you know. They could only beat Portland State by seven last year, so... I think this one could be close. It's really a 50-50 ball game. It could go either way. Probably if I was go going to favor someone, I would favor Nevada. Uh, but, you know, it could be Arkansas. I, you know, I don't think Sam Pittman will be as bad as Chad Morris was. But it's going to take time. It's going to definitely take time for him to to improve the Razorbacks. It's not going to be done in, it's not going to be done overnight. It's going to take time. Two at Notre Dame, not even a chance. Uh, so they lose that one. Three at Mississippi, Mississippi State, not a chance there. Mike Leach is there. I think they'll improve Mississippi State. They'll probably be a pretty good team next year, so no. For Texas A&M, somehow they almost beat Texas A&M last year. I don't know how they did it, but they almost did. This one's at Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Neutral site game. Fun one. Uh, you know, it could be closer than we think it will be, uh, but I'm taking the Aggies here. They'll definitely be the better football team. They've got a top 10 recruiting class, better coaching staff. They have Jimbo Fisher there, so the Aggies here. First guaranteed win, five, Charleston Southern. I don't I don't understand how they could lose this one. They have to win this one, so they'll get this W here. Six, Alabama. No, no, definitely not. Seven, LSU. Uh, technically a rival game. I believe it's called the Battle for the Golden Boot. But yeah, it's just not happening. It's it's LSU. Not even a chance. Eight, bye week. Uh, I guess it's an okay time to have the bye week. Nine, Tennessee. You know, if this is the start of last season, I might say, yes, they would have a good shot. But Tennessee has improved drastically from the start of last season. They were an 8-5 and five team overall last year, finished the season out great, have a top 10 recruiting class corner 24-7 sports. They're going to look like a pretty good football team next year. I think they're going to be a team in the SEC that can definitely do some damage. They're not going to lose to Arkansas. Then at Auburn, nope. 11 Ole Miss. Uh, Lane Kiffin's there, you know. I think Ole Miss will be a better football team next year. Arkansas might make it close, but Ole Miss will just be a better football team next year, no doubt about that. 12 ULM, second guaranteed win. They're going to win this one. So two FCS schools overall, they'll get those two games. They'll have two wins there. At Missouri, Missouri's an average SEC team, but they're a lot better than Arkansas. It's an away game for Arkansas. Uh, you know, I'll take Missouri here. So, yeah, I have, I have Missouri winning. So overall, overall, I I have I have the Razorbacks finishing three and nine. I have them at three and nine right now. It could be two and ten. There's two guaranteed wins on there. There's two guaranteed wins on there. That's so that makes two wins. And then I'm gonna say they get lucky and win one more game. Maybe it's Nevada. Maybe they beat an SEC team that just happens to have a bad season next year. Uh, but I I don't think they'll get an SEC win. So maybe it's Nevada. Uh, but overall record is three and nine. You know, I definitely th think they're gonna improve. Uh, you know, but just you look at their schedule; it's very tough. Besides those, two, besides those two FCS schools, it's a very tough schedule. Uh, there aren't many games you look 
you look that you see that Arkansas has a very good shot at winning. It's a really tough schedule. I don't think it's going to be a great year for the Razorbacks. They'll improve over time, but what Sam Pittman's received is not, it's not a great roster. It's not anything incredible. It's an improvement from last year, but still, Arkansas was absolutely terrible last year. So, you know, I expect them to go 3-9 and nine again. Uh, not anything good. But hey, it's a, it's a one-game improvement from last season. Uh, but that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and check out all my other videos.